you can see. Uh, it's like <laughs> nice. Okay. So we are all set. So um, I'm Julia, by the way. Uh, it's my third time in Istanbul, and uh, that's when I come to Istanbul. It starts to rain. Uh, my here uh, knows that's the truth, so uh, that's how it happens. And we hosted uh, another game industry conference, uh, the WM conference, White Nights in June. And now we're here at Mobidiktum, so uh, it's good to reconnect with the Turkish industry, uh, which now feels like you know our own, I think. <laughs> and uh, I'm grateful to Mobidiktum guys that uh, invited me uh, to moderate this panel. So please introduce yourselves. And tell us a little bit about you. Uh, okay, my name is Al. I'm from Huawei. I'm responsible for Huawei Health Operations in Turkey. So basically, we are creating a new ecosystem here about the advertising industry. Uh, also, I'm responsible for onboarding games and applications to the Huawei app gallery and then promote them. So, this is basically what I'm doing. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, Hello, I am uh, Dr. Ayadinj. I am a filmmaker and uh, game designer. Uh, also, uh, I am uh, head of the digital game design department in Bacon University. Also, I am lecturer in Marsman University about digital game design. And also, I am the Live Club Ambassador in Turkey. Uh, yeah, this is why I am the game director because I am filmmaker and game designer. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Um, so we are here to discuss alternative stores as a part of the publishing strategy. And uh, I think recently Apple's and Google's dominance has never been so, you know, shaky, let's say, with uh, uh, all the news, with all what's happening. So we've been discussing this topic, I think, uh, since 2013 or something like that. But now, uh, more developers think about it. And Your chair looks a little bit dangerous. That was the part of the show. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was going to fall down. I'm just going to do a little bit because yeah. I'm afraid yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. I was going to make our panel interesting. Why are you so dangerous? You know, when, when we have a um, uh, happy hour with uh, glasses of uh, sparkling wine and stuff, we usually say that the sponsor pays specifically for someone to break the glasses and everybody's waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be, you know, super famous as a better moderator. This will be better than the work of us. Exactly, exactly. Anyways, uh, so, um, why developers should even think about alternative stores? Why not just stay on Google and Apple? And uh, let the rate start because you are not <laughs> <laughs> you, you will have the correct answer. <laughs> no, yeah, at least. Yeah, you know, uh, when I started the, the game industry seven years ago, uh, we just made uh, the, our first game, it's called Complex Stumble. We, just, we made just with uh, three people. And uh, me, uh, Smile, my sister and producer Smile, and also John Atoy, uh, is my developer. You know, it's, if you are indie, uh, you don't have not too much chance to get uh, money uh, to in the stores because you you need a expansion to you know as you know CPS retentions, lots of uh, 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 interesting uh, details. And uh, I thought if I make something unique game. Uh, Apple editors can uh, choose us mm -hmm. for getting featured. So, uh, in our first game, uh, you know, it's like a, in the, uh, 2015, we get uh, featured and Apple chose us the, the best mobile game in the year and uh, the editors choose lots of in catalog, in worldwide catalog in there. So, it's it's actually a good trick. So uh, we are uh, company. We, we don't make uh, clone games or you know uh, some copy games. And we always want to be make uh, some unique games, uh, different uh, styles games. And so uh, our first strategies 
uh, getting featured. So every star is like handpicked uh, star, uh, like an art gallery. Uh, you know, like uh, you can see lots of creation. Why would you need an alternative store after you got so successful in the app store? Yeah, because uh, another editors uh, and you can find another uh, opportunities in the, the other uh, stores. Like uh, why I will I will talk about uh, our <laughs> stories. You know, with Google is like you know Google using the AI. Uh, you know, uh, but Apple uh, checked your quality, check your check your uh, localization, translation, your UI, your UX. Optimization and give some uh, give some uh, feedbacks for getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really interesting and good uh, for us. Uh, but uh, for alternative uh, alternative uh, platforms, uh, also you can uh, change your monetization system. Because in App Store, uh, many years ago, six or seven years ago, premium was premium model was so better, but now, uh, you know, we can't find uh, good games in the premium. Uh, but uh, in the premium, in our second game was premium in the Eyes of Sky Context Sample 2. And uh, we, we uh, you know, is a, a Google Play uh, premium model is better <laughs> than the, the Apple. So it's like uh, your monetization uh, style uh, it really depends, and it depends on the, the alternate uh, stores. Yeah, what about <laughs> your idea? So, just in, sorry, let me sum it up. So basically, you had two games that were quite successful on the App Store, yeah. and then you decided to, you know, to monetize them better, or bringing them to alternative stores. Yeah. And uh, what was the percentage of the extra revenue that you received? Yeah, it's just firstly, our first game is premium model. Okay. You know, just buy and. You know, but uh, you know it's like cinematic uh, uh, games. It's the third one, is, uh, Contact London. And you know if you make a full motion video game, uh, you know your, your, uh, your retention can be strong with game on retention. But uh, you know it's uh, it's not endless architecture. You know just in, in day three or four it's catfish. And we just decide the framing model. And we uh, we made uh, in a purchase system in uh, interactive movies. It's very interesting idea, uh, movie and in a purchase. You know, it's uh, it's about your game design and monetize system. So your question is percentage percentage is the same, but Apple now uh, make a small business program. If you're you're not past the one million dollar, the person is uh, like. A, person, uh, you know, uh, just uh, Apple give us. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I mean, for example, let's say that you made a million dollars from the App Store. Let's say, I don't know how much, right? Uh, but what was the extra revenue that uh, alternative stores gave to you? I'm trying to just like to show whether it's uh, worth for developers to go to other stores. Maybe actually I'll help yeah, I can have this question. Yeah, yeah I can help with that. Actually, uh, you were lucky because uh, I, I'm sure that uh, your game was perfect, but you were lucky in terms of it was seen by the editors. Okay, this is where you were lucky. Because uh, as you said here in the Google Play Store, the artificial intelligence can overlook it. Even in the App Store, they can overlook it, even though it's real person. Because as you said, from the catalog, there are billions of them. So when we come up with the uh, app gallery idea, actually there were two type, two things there. Uh, first of all, Google Play Store was not available in Huawei phones, but this was not the main motivation. It just fastened the process. Okay, before even before this whole Google problem uh, in Huawei happened, we had these plans for uh, launching the app gallery as a third uh, store. And then uh, when Google, when the, there was this Google Play problem, then it's faster. And then when we started it. We realized in short time, in only in two years, we became the third largest store. Uh, it was, of course, it was the purpose, but we didn't think we could take this much uh, pace in a very short time. And then uh, the biggest advantage we are providing is that we don't have that much competition yet, especially in the first two years. We are still there, by the way. Uh, we still have less competition.
competition than the big like Google Play Store and the uh, iOS market because in uh, iOS market, I mean, there is different APK, it's a different file, but if you're developing something for uh, Android based, then you can publish it in Google Play Store and also you can do a little bit modification and you can publish in the uh, Huawei uh, like you did. And the advantage here is you are adding value because you are reaching to more customers. For example, just for Turkey, we have around 10 million devices in Turkey, Huawei devices. Okay, most of them uh, were produced before 2020 so that you can use Google Play Store there, so your game can be downloaded from there. Mm -hmm. But there's still 2 million devices, almost 2 million devices, which you cannot ignore, especially if you're thinking about a game. Uh, it's a big number, so 2 million users they cannot download your game or app from the uh, Play Store. This is why they have to download from it. This is why you have to be there. So for the, uh, this is one thing for if you're going to mass. But if you have a specific game, like your games, for example, then uh, we have special features. Because we have a limited number of, uh, like less number of uh, games in the app gallery when you compare to other markets. And because the operation is localized, now, from Turkey, I can tell you guys, like, we have limited number of game companies who onboard the game. So when there is a local game, especially with some creatives like yours, which has some differences, it's very easy for me to promote it for free. And then, uh, as he said, in Google Play Store or like the big um, app markets, they have to, uh, they usually pick up already successful companies, already successful games. Like it's very difficult to compete for the newcomers and in App Gallery, because we are also a newcomer. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> because we are the the store, right? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah because we, we know the story, we know how difficult it is for newcomers to get successful, so we help them as much as we can. That's yes. uh, how big is the audience right now, like worldwide? Like 600,000 no, million? Million, 630 million people are using it. Yeah, it's really big and uh, like of course most of them are in China, I can say like maybe half of it or more is in China. Uh, like we don't we don't operate in uh, US. Uh, US is the only country that we are not operating in terms of app gallery because of the sanctions. Uh, and this is why some gaming companies are hesitating to go into app gallery because like we, we are targeting US, it is the like most revenue is coming from US, but we are not in US, so why should we come? I have answers for that. <laughs> uh, all right, so, but um, are there any uh, alternative stores? Yeah, it's, uh, we have a very interesting story. And we, when we decided to, to publish our game in uh, App Gallery, and our uh, developer, uh, lead developer, John, uh, gets some trouble, you know, you know because also, uh, like uh, adding your game in the store is like a torture, you know. And all <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it, like it was the case before. It was the case. I agree. Yeah, because in, in, uh, in App Store it's uh, so hard, you know. You can't optimize your all trailers to the, for screen size or all languages, but we have a little language. So hard, and I made <laughs> all this because I don't. Yeah, trust anybody and. Uh, but in, uh, yeah, it's in App, app Gallery, the user interface is perfect, but uh, yeah, uh, the, the lead uh, developer yeah, got some trouble, and we want to ask uh, for optimization to YT, and YT said, said that uh, we can't optimize. And I said, what? And uh, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> if you have a problem, we are here to help, right? I mean, this is how the logic should be, but the problem is, in the big stores, you cannot do that. You know, this is the another level of services, you know? So, you know, it's like, you know, magic, but the uh, UI team optimized our game to, uh, to white devices, and that's all. Uh, it's, it's, it was an amazing uh, story uh, for us, because, you know, yeah, I'm talking about Apple, the handpicked, you know, equation, okay. But <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, the optimization uh, support was, uh, you know, so useful for us. And I think uh, uh, also now we are uh, selling uh, us to developers' choice. Yes. Maybe uh, next week or next month, uh, we also uh, get featured the contact London. Uh, so it's very good opportunity.
Thank you for the story, and uh, I'm going to ask my question for the third time, uh, <laughs> because I really want to get an answer. So the story you told, it shows that, I mean, any developer, if you offer them, like, okay, do you want another million of downloads, right? Everybody would say yes, right? And people are not cool, right? They, they, they heard about the gallery now, I think, some of them. Uh, and still, uh, a lot of developers do not do that. Even those who are not super famous and who would need that. Yeah. The reason is exactly what Eric just described, because it's usually a lot of pain to you know, optimize, to change everything, you know, to add some SDK, to add another payment solution, right? So it takes effort. And uh, the main question is, is those efforts worth you know, the result? So that's why I'm going to ask this question one more time. Uh, maybe, okay, let's not speak about money. Let's speak about downloads. Like, your estimation, maybe rough estimation, um, let's say there is a game published on Google Play available everywhere and uh, it's not super successful but moderately successful, right? And then it comes to App Gallery. Um, how many people like extra... 10 to 20 percent at least. That's what I wanted to hear. 10 to 20 percent. Yeah, uh, extra downloads extra, at least. At least. At least because, you know, uh, when you compare the uh, target group, you know, like as I said, for Turkey for example, I already have so many Huawei users who already downloaded the game from the Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. But then another, like as I said, when you compare the numbers, 2 million to 10 million, so 20% of Huawei users didn't download your game at all. They don't even know that it exists. So, or for example, they are downloading it from the third party stores, which are like mm, pirates, let's say. Okay. So this is not uh, helping you to earn any money. This is why you should do that. And in terms of integration, as you said, the biggest concern the developers had in mind, also he had in mind, is that the, the cost of developing, like the time that I would invest into that, is it worth it? This is what we are thinking. So, when I started first in 2020 to open the games, uh, we had little integration with Unity. We did not have any integration with Cocos. Uh, and then we had our own SDKs, and not all of them were working. So, I can honestly say that. And, <laughs> we were just saying to people, try it, okay? Just try it and we will help you. So, uh, but after two years now, today, when we come to today, I can guarantee you, we are supporting all the engines. At the same time, if there's a successful game, for example, let's say, you are not a newcomer, you already have a proven success, I can even dedicate you some developers from our team to help you integrate. Or even if you are a new game, you are launching for the first time, you haven't launched anywhere else, you show us the game, and then we see the potential, then we can still invest. And I'm not saying that investment in terms of money as an investor, but I can give you free promotion slot, integration support with the technical team, everything. This is why I'm strongly suggesting, not only for Huawei, by the way, like any other alternative platform, go calculate it. Like how much effort will they ask you, and then how much in return you will get from it. That's the thing. I'm actually a big believer in alternative stores, especially. I mean, it's one thing if you are, I don't know, king or like players or whatever, right? When you are like, uh, you have millions of money users, whatever, right? And uh, maybe you don't have time, you know, to spend on any alternative stores, but if uh, you are quite small and you are trying to get as much revenue as possible, uh, sometimes it's better to, you know, to spend some working hours. It's cheaper. Then, uh, right, then, uh, and if you can get something in return. And uh, we actually, I mentioned this, we have our game you know, published on the Google Store, uh, in the App Gallery, because, yeah, uh, it's easier if it's a premium game, for sure, right, because you do it once and for all. It's more difficult with the free to play games. But, uh, yeah, we try all months, the premium, premium, premium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, to, today I get a question about that. Like, they were, uh, somebody was asking me, like, when we integrate the Huawei Netskit SDK, then uh, isn't it too much work for us to keep, keep going, right? And I was telling them, not really, because when you uh, integrate it one time, then when you create the ad slots and everything, you, you will continue earning from the Huawei ads, so it is very valuable. Uh, and also for the uh, local developers especially, like for example, I am in Turkey, I am in China of local operations. So if a Turkish game company, developer company, no name, we haven't heard of them, there are only like two 
guys legally the game, right? And if they come to us, I can tell you that I can promote that game. And then let's see, like I will give you two weeks free promotion and let's see if it works or not. And you will be also testing it. I can do that. Like this we have this power in Huawei because we, we are trying to grow with everyone else together. Like today in my conference I was saying that we are not fighting the old. We are just creating something new. And you should join us with it. Uh, speaking of uh, developing, um, developing efforts, once again, I, uh, as far as I know, there are uh, certain platforms that actually help developers to deploy this year. And uh, as far as I know, App Gallery is even integrated with some of them, right? Do, yeah. they, do they actually help? Like, you mean the engines that you uh, Yeah, well, like Catapult, for example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have integration with almost everything <laughs> on the market. Uh, this is, and if, even if we don't have integration, as I mentioned, we are here to help and we will just uh, find this integration, make this integration possible. So, uh, one way I can say from, we are sharing the examples from GitHub with the developers, and I know what they are talking about. So, uh, they already have several cases which have already done and proven, so it's very easy for them to integrate. Alright, uh, we don't have much time left, but let's please touch the topic about China. Sure. Uh, is it completely different? Well, uh, with uh, no official story, it is completely different over there, right? Uh, but can you please comment, like, have you tried to publish in China? Yeah, uh, we tried, but in, you know, normally uh, you need to uh, work with some agency model or establishers in China. So it's too, too hard to find uh, some agency. But why can I find <laughs> for you also? You know, like, uh, uh, totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Start of 
talking about uh, alternative stories. In my mind, it's like when you already uh, aim is done and you did whatever you could on Google Play and Apple and nothing happens, you are not like, yeah, like I need something else before I close this studio. Uh, is that a moment in which yeah, you find when you find some game idea on my first issues, uh, find your translation. But it's all about your game design. Also, we are thinking about now the device screen size, you know, because it's too hard. Also, if you are making like two motion video and, you know, high tech different, uh, you know, your device is so fast screen. So, uh, yeah. Firstly, you should think about uh, your stuff. If, if you want to put uh, it uh, in your PC or in your console, if you have mobile, you can think about all optimizations and your storylines. For example, the Contact London has an augmented reality a crime scene investigation uh, But in Steam, you can't make you know, augmented reality in PC. So you, you, you should uh, think about What's the alternative of uh, the, the Agmat Rail? So it's like that, you know? It's a store means also like a Marshall McLaren uh, said, uh, medium is the message. You know, you should first you should uh, think about your medium, then as stores, then your monetization, then you can start your game. Yeah, that's uh, uh, I understand that you're thinking about this for the future, like the Or making a game, you should think about how you're going to market it, how you're going to monetize it. Nobody does that almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost, uh, almost nobody does that. Yeah, it. I saw lots of students they're also there. Yeah. Uh, I saw lots of games in uh, Moby Dick to manage. I asked uh, the students, uh, what's the monetization? Uh, they said, <laughs> we want to take it. I said, yeah. You know. yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's the, like a couple years later problem. After you spend all the money on the development with you. But anyways, I mean game developers, game industry is uh, you know crazy in a good in a good sense, right? Uh, because everybody's uh, interested in how to make a great game rather than you know how to make money. And that's why this industry is so great. Yeah. Alright, thank you so much. I think people are coming for the next session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you can always find guys in the yeah, hallway as well. I told this guy in the movie. And hallway has a very beautiful work at the very beginning. It's easy to find. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.